Hi everybody, it's Sharon. Today's lesson is the California poppy. If you've traveled to California between February and September, you've probably seen this flower along our highways, in our parks, even on railroad tracks. It practically screams for attention with its bright orange and yellow markings. It's our state flower, the California poppy. Once confined only to the west coast of North America, from Washington State down to Mexico, today it can be found all over the world, including Europe, Australia, Asia, and South America. It's very adaptable. All it needs is a well-draining soil, water, and plenty of sunlight. It's a distant relative of the opium poppy, but it doesn't contain any opioids. Native Americans used it for medicine and for food. The root could be a vegetable, but it also could be a sedative, a painkiller. The color could be a dye and used for basket weaving. Later on, the Spanish noted how colorful it was. They called it cup of gold. It was in 1816 that the Russian ship Rurik sailed to California and spent a month in San Francisco Bay in October. One of the naturalists on board named Adelbert von Chamiso, he was both a poet and a naturalist. He named this flower for his friend Johann Eschultz. So the final name was Eschultzia californica. Let's have a closer look at the flower. The poppy has four petals and a bowl-shaped flower about two to four inches across. Just before blooming, it loses its calyx, which looks like a dunce cap. Each night and in cold weather, it closes like an upside down umbrella and opens again in the sunlight when the temperature reaches 55 degrees Fahrenheit or more. The seed pod is part of the flower, but disperses seeds after the flower dies. If you'd like to see a lot of these flowers at once, I recommend going to Southern California there they have Antelope Valley Poppy Preserve, which is located near Los Angeles. If you go in the spring, you may be fortunate enough to see them as a carpet of gold. I hope you'll celebrate State Poppy Day with me, April 6. But if you can't make that, try May 13. That will be the beginning of Poppy Week in California. Catch you later. Bye.